Knife review. Land technical knives. Folding knife. Made in China. This is the 913. Now I will admit that when I got this knife originally, I didn't know anything about high-end knives. And I didn't realize what this knife actually kind of is. It is and it isn't. It's kind of a Chris Reeves rip-off knife, but it also isn't a Chris Reeves because it's obviously not a Chris Reeves. It's in the, a similar shape though, which I guess is, you can decide on your own if you think that's a crime. I didn't know anything about Chris Reeves when I bought this knife. Someday maybe I can afford to get a Chris Reeves, that'd be nice. But uh, I just thought this knife looked cool, all blacked out. And that's it. it. Says land, doesn't say Chris Reeves anywhere on here. It's uh 12C27 steel, I assume. Model number 913. cool. Rounded top, blue jimping, blue anodized. You can operate it one-handed. It's not a flicker, thumb, th thumb studs, but pops right out real nice. This one, you know, I got to get my angle just right. So when I do it, it comes down, it can hit on the back of that where it's not sharpened, it won't cut me. Reversible clip. Clip is pretty goddamn stout on this one. I'm not gonna lie. Like that is a serious clip. It does not come up much at all. This is a little bit bigger knife than I usually carry. But uh nice and sharp. So oh, looking for the flicker. There's no flicker. Good looking. Thin, I like it, thin. It's along the size of this, uh, this Effingro, which is one of my favorite knives. The uh, Effingro, that back flicker is nice. This one, you gotta kinda give it a flickety flick flick, but they are about the same size. I prefer the line on this one. I like it better. It's got a little more belly. Got that indentation there, but it's a good knife. It's all metal. So it's got a little like this one's This one feels more like a stout tool. This one's lighter. Not that I have any reason to think it's not going to sur survive it's going to break on me, but that's just like I wish it had a flicker on the back though. That's, I mean, I still carry this one every once in a while, not as much as I used to, because I, I just love those flickers now. I mean, it just, it's not that that's hard, but it's not. This is just like dirt. When you flick them on the back, you don't even think about this one. It's like the blade's coming out. You got to kind of be paying a little bit of attention to what you're doing. Plus, the other thing I like is with the flickers that comes out, protects your thumb a little bit when you're taking that safety off. So for me I'm kind of moving towards back back flicks. That's just my own personal preference. Now, I'm sure there's people that have their reasons why they don't like their back flick knives. Maybe they catch on their pants or something. I've never had that problem. Yeah. Centering spot on. Blade is just a little more than three inches, probably three and a quarter ish, something like that. Overall, around eight inches. And 
eighth centimeters, probably eight and a half centimeters on the blade, something like that. Overall, twenty. It's a good knife. A little on the heavy side with the metal sides or the metal scales, but. I like the blackout look. That's just my personal preference. They come in all different kind of. It's actually wearing a hole. Like, oh, split my fingernail open, flicking this stupid thing open. I think I did that on that other knife I was trying to. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. There you go. Land. Decent knife.